card people welcome back to some more fake card friday so today we are looking at a link monster so so far there's a couple of link ones couple of link twos a couple of link threes and i believe only one link four as of right now but no today for fake card friday we are looking at a link six monster yes people link six so let's go ahead and hop right into it so today we are looking at super intergalactic dark matter crusher Super Chuckabee Fudge cover. No, but seriously, that is an extremely long name, which is fine. Uh, Connor kind of looks like a Gundam. Anyway, he is a dark machine link effect monster with 4,000 attack. I mean, Link 6, you're using 6 materials, 1,000 attack, I think is okay. It's a, that, that's a suitable amount of attack for using 6 different materials. Uh, as I said before, he is Link 6, and he is made with Link monsters, minimum of two. So, uh, a Link 1, a Link 5, a Link 4, and a Link 2, a Link 3, and a Link 3. So, he just needs a minimum, or a combination of all of them, you know, Link monsters and numbers combined to add up the six. But the, the fact is, is that in, the materials need to be Link monsters. So, that's, that's a hefty price. That is a hefty, hefty price. But, of course... Despite that, you know, we always got to break things or find a way. You can easily make this with just one card. All you need is that rank 7 guy, the Galaxy Tomahawk. Just summon him, detach, summon him in your extra zone, detach, summon him five tokens. You know, then you can go ahead and uh, link the Tomahawk himself in two of the tokens into Gaia Saber. And then that guy saber will be pointing down, take the other three tokens. There's another guy saber, three plus three is six, damn, you know. So if pretty much if you can make a rank seven, you can make this card because Galaxy Tomahawk, I mean, he summons as many tokens as you want. And as we know, uh, when we're kind of pointing fingers at uh, at Gofu and a little bit of scapegoat, and Galaxy Tomahawk's like, hey, I make tokens too. It's kind of like, look, if you're making tokens, you know, you might have to get out of here or get hit or something. So, I don't know. I don't know if there came to the point where you need to make a Link 6. I mean, Galaxy Tomahawk, you can make a Rank 7, you can make a Link 6. So, interesting, interesting. Anyway, let's look at this effect. So, the effect reads, must first be Link Summoned. Okay, so, once he's Link Summoned and he dies, he goes to the graveyard. You can revive him with, like, Call of the Haunted or whatever, and he'll go into the main monster zone. Uh, his Link monster markers, as you can see, are pretty good, pretty good. If he's in the extra deck, I mean, that's pointing three down. Of course, that is pointing three up for your opponent, but I think that's the point. He doesn't have any on the left and right, so him having him in the main monster zone doesn't really do anything because he doesn't point left and right. So he's definitely a monster who wants to be in the extra deck zone. That way he gives you three markers, and he also gives your opponent three markers as well, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe his, uh, his effect will have to do a little bit of give and take when it comes to that. Once per turn. If your opponent special summons a monsters, monster or monsters, to this card's link zone, you can destroy that monster of monsters. And if you do, banish it. All right, and there it is, that powerful, powerful effect. So, once per turn, if your opponent would summon a monster in a zone linked to this monster, you could just go ahead and pop and kill that monster, and then it's banned. And of course, with him having three link monsters pointing up, you want to summon him the extra deck monster zone, in which case, he has three pointing for you, where you're like, awesome, I have three more zones set up, uh, opened up, and it's pointing three at your opponent. And you're like, yeah, if you summon in any of these three zones and it's linked, you're dead. You know, you're dead and you're banned. Uh, it's only once per turn, so you have to use the effect wisely, but that's still a very powerful effect. And it's an interesting way to incorporate giving link zones to your opponent. I, I like that. I like that. All right, next effect. If this card is in a mutual link with an, a monster, this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So remember what a mutual link is. It's when a link monster is also pointing back at him. So let's say, for example, he's sitting in the extra deck monster zone pointing down and you have a decode talker pointing up at him. They're pointing at each other. That's a mutual link. So if he has a mutual link, this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And being a 4,000 beater, that's pretty good. You know, that's like a, uh, a chaos max. So there's nothing to scoff at, of course. Yes, we all know you can't be kaiju, you know, get wrecked, GG, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that setting up that mutual link gives you a pretty strong benefit, it really does, so I think it's actually worth it if you can pull it off. And then the next effect reads, if this card, this card gains a thousand attack for each monster in a mutual link with this card, all right, so not only do I get protection from being targeted or destroyed by card effects, but I gain a stack, you know, so... 
if I set up, you know, all mutual links, you know, uh, no, I'm not sure if my opponent will ever set up a mutual link with me, but let's say hypothetically that uh, I set up some mutual links, you know, I set my mutual links at all three at the bottom. I would gain 3,000 attack. You know, I'd be a 7,000 monster that can be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effect. I think that's pretty strong. On top of all the other powerful mutual link abilities I get, you know, if I can bust out maybe like, I don't know, triple freaking Firewall Dragon mutual linked with this or something. I mean, I mean, hey, that, hey, that's pretty good. So, I don't know, I don't know. So, anyway, last effect. It's this card is in a mutual link with four or more monsters. So, I guess that would be three from you and one from your opponent. I mean, if your opponent is actually dumb enough to actually make a link monster and mutual link it with this monster, who, of course, can pop monsters that are linked to it up above. And they, they're dumb enough to do that. Maybe you, like, took one of the link monsters and moved it to that space with something. I don't know. In fact, the thing is we're mutual link with four or more monsters. It can attack directly. This card can attack directly. So, of course, m being mutual link with four monsters, you gain 4,000 attack. You're 8,000. You can attack directly. Your opponent, This card cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Your opponent is taking 8k to the face. That's probably game. So, you, this card might as well say that as it's mutual link with four monsters, you win the game. Uh, that's a pretty powerful effect. It's a very situational lead, and if you can pull it off, awesome. You know, but I think that at that point, if you're mutual link with four monsters, including one with your opponent, you deserve to win. You you deserve the W. So, you know what? I like that effect, too. You know? And that's it for this card here, Super Intergalactic Dark Matter Crusher. And overall, I really like it. I really like this card. If it was the first, uh, straight up, if this was the first Link 6 monster that we got, this is the first one that Konami made, I would actually be pretty happy and impressed by it. I mean, it, it's pretty good, you know? It's hard to summon, you know? It has interesting link markers, you know, but it gives three to you, three to your opponent, but of course your opponent has to be careful and, you know, dance around eggshells because you can just go ahead and pop a monster to special summon into this monster's link zone. Uh, you know, if it's mutual link, which, you know, it seems like they're trying to encourage, can't be targeted to by card effects, and it gains a stat. And if I somehow miraculously pull off four link mutual links, I get to attack you directly. So, uh, overall, I think this is a really awesome card. Great card, you know. Uh, I say it could still be Kaiju with sucks, but you know what? I mean, that that's fair. That really is. So, uh, I'm going to give this card a thumbs up. I'm going to give this card a thumbs up. So tell me what you guys think about Super Intergalactic Dark Matter Crusher in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Of course, I will be back next Friday to look at yet another Fake Card. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications just in case our videos don't pop up in your sub box. And I am looking forward to seeing you guys next week with another fake card to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.